all right my love so i told y'all because i was so late on these damn monthlies that i was going to give y'all a little surprise or a little extra so what i'm going to do is do some quick mini reads for all 12 of the signs to kind of give you a little bit more insight into what possibly is going on with you now these could deal with um just moving into this weekend or it could be moving into next month and we're already there right saturday is it the first i think saturday is the first so for some of you this mini read might even carry uh through july so let's get into it we're going to start with libra first spirit clear this deck libra what messages do we have for libra i'm curious about this what messages i got a whole bunch of cards flipping out what messages do we have for libra because my my situation is a fuck fest <laughs> right now all right spirit thank you give me a few more cards ah. all right thank you clarifying before i even ask all righty messages for labor spirit uh thank you thank you thank you all right let's get into it because i feel like i'm about to pull a book and i want to keep them like five minutes so the first thing that we have that comes out is bad spell work jealousy hmm manipulation and then we have the psychic seer first row so when we look at the first row, some of y'all might be coming across some energy of somebody trying to do something negative to you. If you don't believe in spell work, this could be anything. This could be gossip. We got manipulation and it's because of jealousy. So we may have a problem where somebody is manipulating energy to try to cause some type of problem for you. We also could have people trying to manipulate other people psychic seer is on top of you which means that some of you may be seeing it so pay attention to your dreams pay attention to things that are coming through because it could be that spirit is trying to warn you now next card that comes out is speak up assert yourself and then we have spiritual journey this could also be connecting more with your spirits we have success so some of you are moving in the right direction. Maybe that energy is trying to derail you. Maybe you even have people that know you're moving in the right direction and they're trying to cause problems. But it is showing for some of you that you may have to assert yourself and speak up. Um, if this is part of your spiritual journey, this may be that spirit is pushing you to be a little bit more assertive, to stand your ground. Um, because there may be something bigger, a bigger picture at the end for you. So I will say do your cleanses watch your back because you may have some negative energy that is coming in that is either trying to manipulate your outcome or manipulate things around you this could be somebody that is using this to maybe throw some type of monkey wrench in your plans so that you don't reach that final goal so as usual my loves watch the people that you're dealing with watch people that you're talking to um you know Make sure that you're protecting and cleansing yourself. This could even be this person using some type of spell work to manipulate you, ma manipulate your mind. If we don't believe in spell work, this could be somebody that's making you say, you know what, you're not good enough for that. You're not talented enough for this success or this is not going to open up for you. But it's not true, you guys. There's jealousy there. So somebody sees you climbing and they could be trying to hold you back. So make sure that you pay attention to agendas and you stay focused on the outcome of whatever it is that you're trying to do. If not, it could derail you. It could also get into your head and make you not even try. And I think that's what this person wants. Whether this is a friend, family, or a coworker or somebody like that, this could be somebody that is trying to slow you down because they know success is coming for you or you have something big. And I think, unfortunately, the jealousy may kind of derail your friendship with this person. If this is somebody that you know, it may come to light that, you know what, I can't fuck with this person anymore because they don't want the best for me. Or it could be that this person has been somebody that has watched you for a while. They see that maybe you have some doors being opened and they don't want that for you because maybe they want it for them. So watch your back, Libras.
All right, Scorpio. Let's see what we have for you, Scorpio. Any guidance, any message of spirit? Scorpio. Any guidance, any messages? Thank you, spirit. All right. Give me a few more cards, spirit. Scorpio. Okay. Two more cards, spirit. All righty. One more. All right, Scorpio. Let's get into it. Let's see what we have. First card, self-imposed bondage. And this is literally... And we got feeling trapped and self-posed bondage. This is somebody who's feeling stuck. Could be because of financial reasons. My money ain't right. My money is funny. Now, if you are dealing with that, the energy is showing that there is a new job or an opportunity that is coming in that could replenish that. We definitely have pulling back and connecting with spirit. So for some of you, spirit may be like, look, I want to help you. So pay attention to your dreams, go to your ancestor altar. For some of you, we have somebody who's going out into nature and connecting with spirit. So there may be uh, nature spirits that are trying to get your attention. This could be anything. This could be walking on a path or something where, you know, you're getting messages from spirit. This could be going to the beach where you're getting messages from spirit, but it looks like that they're trying to communicate to you. And if you are stressed about this money situation, it looks like that you have some money coming in. Could be a new job opportunity, or this could be an opportunity to side hustle to bring in some money. I would definitely say put your resumes out there because it looks like spirit is opening doors. For a few of you, it looks like that you're waiting for that to happen so that you can move forward. So it looks like that that money loss is causing you to feel stuck, but we possibly have a new job that's coming in that leads to a new move. And for some of you, I think you've been waiting for this. But be careful that you're not self-sabotaging. Oh, let me get the card up right. Scorpio, be careful that you're not stuck in a situation that you put yourself into. We have self-imposed bondage, which is she can pull the blinders down. She can take the string off. But we also have feeling trapped. And with this one, oh, we have bob wire. So it's a little bit harder to maneuver from that energy because it's like every time I try to make a change, it is painful to me. There's something that feels like it's blocking me. But spirit is saying that some of this could be some of your doing. And for some of y'all, y'all might need to look into your spending habits, what you're doing with your money, whatever it is that's keeping you stuck, your relationships with people. I keep hearing like watch your mouth and this could be watching your mouth, what you tell people or watching your mouth, how you talk to people. Now, spirit is definitely opening a door for you. They're like, we're communicating with you because they're trying to help you navigate out of this energy and bring you to a new place could be too that some of you may share a space with somebody that's making you feel trapped and you're ready to move on also could be that this money situation is i'm ready let me get the cards right y'all i'm ready to move but this money is looking funny but we have money that is going to be coming in we have a job opportunity for some of you if you're an entrepreneur you may need to look more into um jobs that are around you and it's a temporary thing if you have to take a job it may just be to put you on your feet open up doors and bring your money in for a few of you though this could be money that is coming from an opportunity could even be money that is owed to you that is coming and it looks like it might be coming right on time because we literally go from money lost to an opportunity to bring money in and in a move let go of these fears you guys you got to get out of this energy it may be painful but it's like you need to go ahead and break ties you know, chains that are holding you back. And for some of you that self-imposed is showing decisions that you making could be causing you to be self-sabotaging to yourself. All right. Self-sabotaging to yourself. You know what I mean, Scorpio. Love y'all. All right. Sagittarius. Let's see what we got going on for this fire energy. Sagittarius. All right. Da, 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 da. Let's get some more cards. Mm. Let's see, a few more cards for Sag. Thank you, Spirit. 
Man, they not even let me get them out. Sagittarius spirit. Sagittarius, there we go. I had a couple of cards that were bending in the background. Let's get one more card, spirit. All right, let's get into it. So, some of you might be thinking about making changes with your body. This could be working out. This could be looking at um, cosmetic surgery. It may be something that have to do with boosting your confidence. This could either be planning to get something done, or it may be that I'm accepting my body and I'm learning how to work with it. And I'm going to go ahead and do something that makes me happy. Dress a certain way. This could be ordering new things that fit you. Whatever it is, I feel like there's an energy of coming to peace with something about your body or your body image. Now, confidence is there, so I feel like some of y'all are moving forward, but we do get some conflict that's coming in on top of this. And I think with this jealousy card, an evil eye, some of you might be standing in your power this month. You might be getting some type of recognition, male or female. You might be getting some type of accolades where people are like, did you see what Sag did? And people are kind of like, yeah, and they look good. You see the outfit that they're wearing. They're pulling themselves together. You know, maybe somebody's been waiting to see you kind of pull everything in or look a certain way. Or you, it just could be that you're glowing. You're glowing up. But then we get this energy of jealousy and conflict and evil eye energy. So some of y'all have triggered some people around you. Maybe you're getting a little bit too much recognition or... They feel like you're being favored. This could be with work. This could be with family. But we get jealousy. We get evil eye energy. And there's a new beginning on top of you. And that could be why that's there. Some of you might be glowing because there is a pregnancy. And your body could be changing. Let's see. Yeah. But somebody might be jealous that you are pregnant. If this is not pregnancy, somebody is upset because you have a new beginning or something that is starting. We have a lot of travel that's coming in. So some of you could be having a travel career or it may be that you got some extra money or you're in a position where you can move around. This new beginning could even be that you're moving somewhere. Um, but we still have jealousy. Strength card is on top of you though. So whatever this is that you're doing, it actually is the path that you're supposed to be walking because it's bringing in your confidence and your strength. So for some, this could be a job where maybe you're traveling, you're connecting with a lot of different people. If this is not physically going somewhere, this could be online. But be careful because it looks like that your success could be triggering some haters. So you might be looking at seeing some people look at you differently, like, oh, look at Sag, like what they doing? How they get in this? Why, why did they get the new beginning? And it's not just one person because it looks like they're trying to bring other people in. But it is because you're standing in your power, Sag. So even if you don't feel like it, you are powerful right now because a lot of people are looking at you, they're watching you, and the strength card is on top. You know, you're a fire sign that is really standing in your power right now. So some people are going to feel some kind of way. Be prepared for this energy, but keep it moving because it looks like this new beginning brings a lot of success to you or it brings in a lot of good opportunities. Now, for some of you, like I said, this could be that there's a change in the body because there's a pregnancy, but you still may have somebody that is jealous of that. Maybe they've been trying to have a baby, could be somebody that is a friend of yours or a family member, and now they see that you're doing it or this new beginning is opening up for you. Now they feel some kind of way. I do feel like there's some recognition that's coming in, so the gossip behind you may be really, really good. So I think you're in the middle of this. We got one side that's like singing your praises, and then we got another side that's like that damn dirty uh, Sagittarius. So you're going to maybe feel the energy shift a little bit. If this is in your family or at work, you're going to feel it because one group is going to absolutely love you, and you're going to have a whole other group that absolutely hates you. But you'll be all right, Sag. I love you. Mwah. Capricorn, let's get into it. These are some mini readings. Let's see what spirit has for you, Cappy. Capricorn. All right, some of you may be traveling, getting ready to take a vacation. There may even be um, some movement that is coming in. Thank you, spirit. Seeing some things clearly. All righty. Give me three more cards, Spirit. Cap. 
happy. Finding your confidence. Let's do one more spirit. One more for Cappies. Hmm. Some of you, though, may be exploring like some type of gift or some gift that's opening up and you may be afraid. Let's look at the first card traveling. So there may be some trip or vacation that you're thinking about or you're trying to plan, but I also feel too that there is some movement that is coming in and this could even be with a travel job where you may be moving around a lot um some of you this could be bus driver truck driver um flight attendant pilot uber lift or whatever but there may be something that you're moving into that requires that you travel a lot or that you move around a lot for some of you if this is not with the job this is just going to take a vacation now we have seen something clearly, and this is on your diet. So there may be some health issues that are coming to the surface and spirit is like, you need to deal with this. You can't put this off anymore. You need to look into something that may be going on. If some of you are having issues with your blood pressure or your sugar levels, diabetes or anything like that, it could be that your body or your doctor is telling you that you need to really watch the things that you're eating. You need to be a little bit more uh, careful with what you eat. Now, I don't see major sickness. I think some of you might be getting some warnings that there could be possibly some issues with things that need to be taken out of your diet. So if you're drinking milk and all of a sudden you realize that it's not working with you, it's going through your body, y'all, I'm having the same issue. It could be that I need to stop drinking milk. Um, I feel for some of you that there's going to be some things that you're not going to be able to process, but they're going to be seen clearly. Psychic seer is there and we have the fear card and then we have confidence. Some of you may have a lot of major spiritual growth that's happening. You could be seeing things and maybe you're a little bit afraid of what you're seeing. Also could be that you're finding some things out on the other side. Spirit could be showing you some things that you are fearful of, but we have a person that is walking in their power, male or female. So don't be scared if you have some type of gift that opens up or something that comes through or a message from spirit could it be them telling you about your diet or your health could that could be telling you about a job so it doesn't necessarily have to be negative but i feel like that for a lot of you you have someone on the other side that is trying to make contact with you and let's see let's look a little bit deeper in spirit if this is a message coming to cappy what could you be trying to tell them all right so some of you, your vulnerability is opening you up um, to something that is bigger than you, but it's spiritual. So it may have been that spirit was waiting for something to happen or take place so you could see something clearly. Let's see. Unlock your heart. Take positive action. Explore your ancestry. And then we have become more objective and learn from karma. So there may have been some lessons that you have gone through. Some of you may be hurt and you may be having a hard time with your heart chakra right now. Looks like something is opening up. You may have had an issue where you were hurt and you're trying to figure out how to deal with it. Um, and it could be where that fear is that this may be like I had to let something go or let someone go and I'm scared. And it may be that I've been hurt before that I don't want to open my heart. I wonder if this is maybe possibly a new love or a new situation coming in. Now, learning from karma is like, did you learn the lesson so that you don't repeat this hurt? And I think that may be something that some of y'all are struggling with. I don't want to get hurt again. I think that there may be a love interest that's coming in or a major change in your life that's going to require you to kind of surrender something and step out on faith. And that may be possibly what's scaring you. There's spiritual growth and some of you are going to have to see something clearly at look or look at something clearly. And there may be a fear, but I do feel like whatever it is, once you face it, it leaves you standing in your power. This is confidence. So it's like, I'm afraid of something that is changing or I'm afraid of something that I have to do that makes changes in my life. But it looks like, to be honest, it benefits you kind of like some shadow work. You guys, I hate to say that, but I think it is. 
you might have to look a little deeper into something like why do i act this way or why does this keep happening to me what is the lesson what do i need to see what do i need to learn and once you learn the lesson you're going to move on some of y'all keep getting stuck there it's almost like it's repeating it's repeating and spirit is like okay let's pay attention but there's a fear what don't you want to see cappy because you have to look at it you have to face it conquer it and then move on all right my loves love you aquarius let's see what spirit has for you aquarius all right how did that let me clear real quick all right spirit all right aquarius spirit two more cards spirit Aquarius hold up you guys two more cards I think some of you may find yourself having a relationship problem um, with some people. And you may be hearing some messages about somebody that's not for you. Let me get the cards up right, though. So we definitely have somebody who's feeling overwhelmed right now. And you may be feeling like that you're not on the same page with somebody, or you may even be looking at somebody like, I'm not sure what's going on with them um we have being overwhelmed and some fear that's coming in and i think some of you you have some friendships that may be challenging you or a relationship that may be challenging you now this could be you're getting some message that maybe somebody is sending to you about somebody else or you may have been caught up in something where this person is definitely coming at you and it's overwhelming you and you're cutting energy with that person I feel like it's the best thing to do because if it's making you stressed or having some type of issue, I think some of you may not know how people are, are coming at you and it's bothering you. I also see too that there could be some money loss that's coming in, but I feel like this is a temporary thing because the road opener is coming on top of you. So if some of you are worried about money, I feel like that money is going to get better. Like there's a new energy that's coming in. This could be a new job. This also could be a new side hustle or something that you're developing um if you're self-employed this could be that things are moving really really slow and you're trying to pull it up especially if you're rebranding or something like that but we have the open road and it's showing that you have some things that are going to open up in a major way some of you are thinking about um moving and it could be that you're waiting for this money to get better so you can go ahead and make some plans but the road opener is coming in so it's going to give you clarity this could also be remodeling something or doing something different to your house but there is clarity there. And I feel like if you're ready to make a move, you are. A few of you could be moving away from this energy. Fake friends or somebody that's not reliable. I am also seeing that there needs to be something that let go, let go of addiction. Some of you are struggling with a, a issue. And it may not be a bad issue. But it's almost like it is starting to burn a hole in your in your pockets or you feel like I just need to do this. And this could be anything. This could be with food. This could be with drinks. This could be with drugs. But it is showing that you may be trying to self-medicate or make yourself feel better to deal with something. And maybe it's because something came out. Some of you may be addicted to a person. Like, I know I need to walk away from that person, but I don't. I, I can't. Be careful of uh, being overly loyal um and being stuck some of you are afraid of abandonment or losing people and i feel like that that's where this being overwhelmed and this fear is coming in it's like something may come out and it's going to cause you to maybe lose some people and you're worried about that i think you're going to be okay though because we have the open road that's coming in on top of you we have some money lost could be from some things that somebody said somebody trying to cause some problems um conversation 
may have caused some issue. And if you're a business, this could be affecting your business. Could be somebody is obsessed with you and trying to cause a problem. But open road is on top of you. You're going to move forward regardless of that. If you're dealing with a nasty energy of somebody that is completely stuck and trying to cause problems, you're going to move away from that energy. Some of you are planning and also making a bigger move. And this could be away from um, an environment. This could even be a relocation um, that's coming in for you, Aquarius. Um, you may be worried about the money. Like, I need to move, but the money is not right. Spirit is like, it's time for you to get focused. Um, put your resume out there. The road opener card is on top of you. And I think some of you have one foot in, one foot out. Spirit is like, make a decision and focus on it and make it happen. You're going to be okay. But there could be this fear of if I walk away from this, I'm going to lose everything or I won't have anything there. And it's real, you know. Aquarius can overthink, especially when that money is looking funny. It's like, okay, what am I going to do? I feel stuck. But it is showing that there's a transformation in the money, but it also could be the way that you spend money or your relationship with money. Because I feel like it's going to come back in. But if you know that you really need to work on your budget, work on your budget. Because I feel like there's some type of, I don't know, there's some negative uh, relationship with money where it's like, I can't keep it. Or it may be that I want to do what I want to do, but I can't make the money off of it. And spirit is like, I need you to look at things clearly, bring your money back up and then make this move. And it could be your environment that's doing that to you. Some of you may be stuck in an environment where there's stagnation. There's no movement. Could also be that you're cutting away some fake friends because of that, where they're, they're causing certain things to close in on you or they're closing, causing problems with your finances. And it's like, I got to let this person go. You'll be all right though. You will. Pisces, let's see what we have, Pisces. You know, the Libra one was a fuck fest. So, you know, my Pisces moon is like, okay, let's see what's going on with Pisces on this end. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Oh, why we get the same card? Why did y'all get the same card as um, Libra? Hold up, Pisces. Let me get down here and pick these up. All right. Dang. So the energy is just going to be the energy, huh, spirit? Pisces. Pisces, like, I ain't about it. I am not about it. Two more cards for Pisces, spirit. Pisces. One more card. Dang. Almost the same cards, y'all. Almost the same cards. Give me one more card, spirit. Ah, flips over. Thank you, spirit. All right, so let's get into it. First card is there may be something that you have to say, Pisces, um, but we have evil eye energy coming out. You may be having some type of conflict with somebody right now. And it's like, look, I want to talk to you, but, you know, maybe you're worried that it's going to cause more problems. Could also be, too, if this is not them, this could be you looking at them like, what the fuck? But there, I feel like that there's a conversation that may need to be had. And some of you may have tried to have this conversation because then we see walking away from um, drama. Like, I don't want this. I don't want this. There is this energy uh, maybe connecting with people that are trying to maybe hold you back, hold you down, and separation is there. So if you are dealing with an energy of some negativity or a person that's trying to cause you to maybe not move forward, it's like, no, I'm cutting ties with you. Strength card is on top of it. I, wanna, I, I don't want to deal with this. I'm walking away from this energy because I'm stronger than what this negativity is. It may be that this kind of blindsided you. I think some of you are possibly going to be connecting or you have connected with somebody that is very possessive. And it's almost like I get somebody who wants things the way they want them. Now, this could be a friend. Get the right cards. This could be a friend. This could be a lover. This could even be family. But the thing is, some of you may have questioned do I want to cut ties? But Lord have mercy, y'all. Let me get the cards right. Some of y'all might have questioned, do I want to cut ties because of this energy? 
And you may have felt like, no, I don't. I want to work this out because I feel like that there may be, I want to talk. Let's talk about this. There also may be some things that were said that you want to make right. Maybe this person put some things out about you and it's like, look, no, I want to speak up about it. I feel like that there's some energy where there's a power struggle that's going on with you and someone. Um, and it's showing that there may be no love lost on either side of this because spirit is kind of like watch your back. And I think instead of just doing it, you're like, I want to cut ties with this person. I want to walk away from this energy. I don't want to deal with them. Strength card is like, yeah, I don't want to fuck with them. Some of you may be feeling like I'm over it. I don't want to do the drama. So whatever the evil eye energy is may have started with this. And then we get this, this energy that comes in, but this person could be very possessive of you, or they could still be trying to hold on to you and not let you move forward. This could also be too, um, you know, somebody that I don't know, maybe they have feelings or they're connected to you and they just don't want to see you move forward. And they're trying to manipulate the situation. Like, why would they be possessive of you? Could be obsessive too. This could be a person that checks your pages all the time. What are they doing? Where are they going? Or they call your family members. Maybe you broke up with this person and they're still trying to hold on to you. Or you walked away from this person. You divorced them. You cut ties. And they're still trying to hold on to you. And it's like, no, I'm going to say what I need to say. Because I'm stronger now and I'm going to walk away. I don't want this. So whatever this energy is, it's not good energy. But you're, you're done with it. It's like, I don't have to put anything else in. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to any other people that have to deal with this. And then it shows you moving on. And it looks like that it benefits you. It's still going to be this energy of having to watch your back because I feel like this person is still going to be saying some things behind your back. But I feel like at the end of the day, it's like, I don't want it. I'm not listening. I'm not connected to them. I don't want the energy. So when you feel like you need to walk away, it may hurt. It may hurt. This may be something of severing ties. And for some of you, this could actually be a divorce. I'm cutting ties with you. I no longer want to talk to you. I no longer want you in my life. Somebody's feelings are going to get hurt, but it looks like that it has to be done this way because we have somebody who's very possessive or obsessed with you and they're trying to hold you back. Stand in your power, Pisces. You got this. I love you. Aries. Let's see what we have for you, Aries. Guidance and messages for Aries. Yeah, I have some cat hair. Hold up. I know I got these glasses. Glasses need to be clean. Cat hair on them. Just a hot freaking mess. Aries. All righty. Let me get these cards. Give me four more cards, spirit. Aries. Two more cards, Spirit. All righty. Let's get into it. First card we have, Spirit is kind of like, watch your diet, watch your eating. There may be some things that you are trying to eat. They don't agree with you. This also could be too that maybe you're trying to just watch your weight. Um, I feel like that there could be some health issues that are coming in. I feel joint pain. So it could be that maybe spirit is like, let's get the diet under control because we have some issue with mm, your knees. And we saw this in the bone reading too. And that's why I keep going back to it. So I think some of you may be having some joint pain. Some of it could be arthritis. Some of it could definitely be inflammation the foods that you're eating and some of it could just be the weight that you're having to deal with now i am getting seeing something clearly we have evil eye energy coming in and then we have some type of conflict coming in with a group of people so some of you may need to watch your back with some energies this could just be gossip this also could be some type of competition that's coming in maybe you're more suited for a position but there is maybe somebody who thinks that they should have it. 
I think there's some jealousy that's coming in. Evil eyes kind of like watch your back. And this could be with some people that you're dealing with. And it may have started with one person and now it looks like it's type of a, some type of group effort. If you're having problems with coworkers, it could be that there is some issue with gossip or somebody trying to start something. The good thing is that you see this clearly, which makes it easier for you to kind of stay away from these people. Now, spirit is like you do need a cleanse. So it looks like that this energy may be a little bit heavy and you may need to go ahead and, you know, kind of brush it off. Maybe cleanse your, sp your space, your body, your vehicle. If you're feeling like things are heavy, it could be that you just need a spiritual cleanse to wash some of this off of you. For some of you, if this is dealing with your house, you may need to cleanse your house. If not, I feel like there's a move that's coming in. Some of you could be moving away from an environment, but if your environment feels heavy, spirit is like, you need to go ahead and cleanse it. I am getting some type of, um, let me grab this top card here. I'm getting some card with being trapped. So this could be in your environment. Energy could be really heavy and this could even be in your work environment because we do have conflict. So... For some of you, you might be having conflict with a few other people where you feel trapped in a situation. And I think that's why this move is coming. It also could be in a business where it's like, okay, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm going to move on to a new building or a new career. I think some of you definitely are going to have some type of career transition that comes in. If you are feeling heavy or sick, though, you need to cleanse. And it's because somebody's sending some negative vibes your way. You have somebody that is 100% not supporting you. There could even be some jealousy. And we may have somebody that's trying to pull other people in on this. So if you are feeling sluggish, feeling like you're not moving forward, kind of like I can't even get focused and everything like that, it may be time to do a spiritual cleanse and also clean your environment just in case this energy is lingering. Maybe some of y'all had a roommate that maybe put some negativity in. But whatever it is, if this is your environment, it does. It needs to be cleansed. It needs to be cleansed. Whatever this energy is, you have major change that's happening in your life. And it's going to be painful. The barbed wires, they're like, I'm feeling trapped in something. I have to move out. But I'm scared. Or this is going to be harder than what I think or harder than what I thought. So I do feel like there's a major change that's coming in. You can get through this. It's going to take some time. This is not fast movement, you guys. This is barbed wire. So this is somebody that has to gradually maneuver and, you know, themselves out of it so that they feel comfortable. But it is showing that you're seeing things clearly. So you will know how to maneuver out of this energy. You probably just have to get some type of plan or strategy in place and then keep up with it. You know, I wouldn't worry about too much with these people with gossip and things like that. If this is somebody that you have to watch at work um, for negativity or whatever, this could be that, you know, just make sure anything that's important to you, you turn in. Don't allow somebody else to take something um, or take lead on something that has to do with you because this may not be a person that you can trust because we definitely have evil eye. So some of you, you got somebody that is looking at you and they don't like you. You may not like them either, but it could be that this person is sending you energy to keep you from moving on or to cause obstacles or problems in your life. I feel like you're going to break it, but you have to strategize. You have to plan. And with, with that, I feel like that every day things become a little bit more clear. Like spirit is opening your eyes so that you can see. I'm like, what is ringing? So that you can see what's going on. So stay on path, stay focused, and I see you're going to move forward, Aries. Love y'all. Taurus, how are y'all doing, my love? So let's see what's going on for you, Taurus. What we got for Taurus? Uh, we got some conflict coming in. Taurus. We got some sickness. Ah, oh, somebody's like, mm-mm. Cutting ties with something. Taurus. What is that message about, spirit? All right, how many do we have? Give me two more cards, spirit. Taurus. Hmm. Some of y'all might be teaching or starting some new endeavor with your business. Maybe you're moving something to that next level. 
Give me one more card, spirit. That's a book, spirit. That's a book. Let's see. All right, let's look into it. First thing that we have is conflict. Now, this could be conflict that's coming in. It may cause some stress and cause illness. So watch your health. Um, we have walking away from drama. So whatever this conflict is, Taurus is like, look, I don't want to deal with this shit. I'm over it. And it could be that you are already sick. And it's like, I don't have the energy or the time to deal. This could be family. This could be jobs. This could be with friends, whatever it is. It's like, I'm walking away from it because I don't have the energy to put up with it. We have separation and divorce. Somebody's tired of something. Now we do have relationship problem and we have manipulation. So be careful that somebody isn't manipulating you to cause a problem in your relationship. This could also be um, a spouse, somebody that you're dating that could be trying to manipulate you. Maybe they don't want this ending or this separation. But for some of you, I kind of feel like be careful of what you hear. Be careful of what you say. Be careful of the people that you deal with. Um, there's a message that's coming in about that. So spirit could be kind of like watch your back. Be careful that you're not being manipulated. I do see a cleanse that's coming in and it could be that you're picking up some energy from people around you or there may be some negativity that is coming your way. Some of y'all might be looking into some major um, cleanses. I feel like something is coming in with education and this could be with going back to school. This could also be with teaching, but I feel like expansion and business is coming in, but maybe you need to come out of this energy first. Maybe you need to cut ties with something or someone because it's causing relationship problems and it's causing conflict and I don't want it. I'm walking away from this because it's stressing me out. So be careful that you're not getting involved in something that is going to take you, um, you know, to the hospital or something that stresses you out. If this is not you, this could be somebody around you that's having some issues, but I feel like some of this is stress. Um, let's look real quick. Let me see. Oh yeah, here they go. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What's going on with their health spirit? Taurus. Could be because, you know, a lot of times y'all try to help a lot of people. You take on a lot. And I'm getting some issues with maybe medication. I'm also getting some issues with stress and anxiety. Um, some of you may have also had some type of health issue in the past that you've had some type of surgery or repair on and spirit is showing problems with that so this may be slow healing oh we got diabetes so that could be why there's some slow healing i see digestive issues and some 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 type of issue with diabetes or your sugar and that could be too because spirit is showing watch your diet some of y'all are definitely trying to get healthier um, watch out for sexually transmitted diseases too. Something is flaring up with stress. Now for some, this could be a sexually transmitted disease. For some, this could be a health issue that's been ongoing. That is, um, that is flaring up. I'm also getting some type of sickness from spell work. So too, watch the people that you're dealing with. And that could be why you're walking away from drama. This could be, if you're a practitioner, this could be you trying to cause somebody to be sick through some work that you're doing, or this could be somebody that could be trying to cause you to be sick through some work that they are doing. Illness is there, but stress compounds it. So be really careful that, you know, if you start to feel a certain way, that could be where spirit is saying, do this cleanse, but it also could be too, that you need to walk away from the people or the situation that is causing it, Taurus. I feel like that you're going to get on your feet, but it looks like to do that, some of you may be cutting ties with some people. Yeah. You may be walking away permanently from a situation, especially if it's something that causes a lot of group uh, conflict and issues. I feel like whatever it is, there's a lot of manipulation on top of this. Could be somebody manipulating you or you manipulating them. But spirit is kind of like watch your back um, and watch your health also too, Taurus. Think everything is going to be okay because it looks like that you're cutting ties with the energy or the people. And it's because I don't want to deal with you anymore. I'm walking away from this. So you're taking your health into consideration. You're stressing me out. I don't want to fuck with you no more. 
I'm moving on. And it looks like that when you do that, there is a positive change. There's expansion that comes in for business because it looks like you're more focused, but you could be dealing with some people that are just negative, negative energy. They're trying to hold you there. And I feel like once you let that go, you'll see some things open up for you, Taurus. Love y'all. Gemini, what's up, Jimmy's? Gemini's, let's see what we have. Gemini. Oops, spirit, hold up. That's a whole book. All righty. Well, it's something that y'all have to be patient of for. Maybe you're trying to push something a little bit faster than what it needs. Gemini spirit. All right, let's see what flipped over. Relationship problem. A little bit of jealousy in there. Gemini spirit. Give me two more cards, please, for Gemini. Okay. What is this that flipped over? Clarify that spirit. With who? So the first thing was be patient. There's something that you want that maybe you're trying to push through and we do have job coming in. So maybe you applied for something and you're like, okay, when are they going to call me? When am I going to get the job? Um, I see something with standing in your confidence and maybe you are feeling like this opportunity is going to put you out there more. Could have been that you're interviewing for something and you felt like it, it went really well and you're like, okay, when are they going to call me? But it does look like there is a job opportunity that is coming. For some of y'all, I don't know. I feel like there may be travel that is involved with this. This could be going out of state. Some of you are out of the country. But I do feel like that if you've been kind of sitting on the fence about putting your resume out there, put it out there. If you did and you're waiting for some type of um, interview or confirmation, it looks like that you are going to be getting it. Now, moving into that, though, we see something with a relationship problem and asserting yourself and it's because you're seeing something clearly could it be that you're dealing with somebody that is too jealous or somebody is jealous of a relationship and they're causing problems within that it also could be too that there may be um seeing something clearly with maybe some of your relationships around you where it's like look i gotta put my foot down you're not gonna talk to me like this or we're not gonna handle this like this so i feel that for some of you there is some manipulation that is coming in or going on and you're seeing it clearly possibly with some people around you and you are asserting yourself. Could be that maybe you had a relationship issue that ended or somebody is still feeling some kind of way. They may be trying to cross boundaries with you and you're like, no, nope, not going to happen. And that could be where this is like, look, you know, you're not going to manipulate me. So I feel like some of you are really standing up and stepping in your power. Now you are an air sign, so it doesn't surprise me. But I know that a lot of times y'all don't like conflict, but it is showing that you're getting more confident in your energy. And you're like, look, you're not going to play me. I see things. So you may even be telling somebody this like, okay, look, let me be clear. <laughs> Let me be clear with you. Let me tell you what's going on right now. I don't like the way that you're doing things or I don't like the problems that you're causing. And this could be somebody that you work with, could be friends, could be with family. There is some jealousy there. So it may be that some of this energy is coming because this person is jealous of you and they're trying to cause problems for you. And I think that's what's causing you to kind of put your foot down. Like, look, I ain't got time for this. I'm walking in my power right now. I see clearly what you're trying to do. And I have other things on my plate. I got other things on my mind. I ain't got time to deal with this manipulation and shit. Get your shit together. And you're being very um, forthcoming with it. She's serious. She's not playing. He or she is like, look, you, you, you're going a little bit too far. The line was here. Now you, you're, you're dangerously close to this line. We're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. So I feel whatever this is, you may be having a conversation with a few people where it's like, look, um, you're trying to play games with me. You're wasting my time. You're wasting my energy. I'm not fixing to do this. There is opportunity that's coming in. Put your resume out. 
um, confidence is there standing in your power. So male or female, you feel like something is opening up for you and I need to take advantage of it. And this could be recognition where people are seeing you even promotion. But I feel like that if this is somebody that is a person that you work with, you're asserting yourself. If this is somebody you're in a relationship with, you're asserting yourself. And it could be that maybe you got a job opportunity or something that opened up and somebody feels some kind of way about it. But you're telling them, look, you know, get your life right. You know, fuck with your mama, not me. I don't have anything to do with what's going on with you. So, and it takes a lot for a Gemini to come forward. I mean, they're not like Libras. You know, we da 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 Geminis typically only assert themselves when you back them in a corner and they feel like now I got to destroy you <laughs> and they will. Y'all, if you have ever had an argument with a Gemini, they don't even sweat when they cut you down. They don't. It's like, you know what? You're a broke down bitch. That's what I said. And they just keep on eating their food and you'll be up there like, I know they did not just call me a broke down bitch. And you'll be up there having a whole crisis and they be sitting up there just eating. Like, are you ready for round two? Cause they ready for round two. Y'all trust me and believe. So some of y'all, I feel like that maybe somebody has pushed you to the edge or you may even have a lot on your plate and you're being, you're feeling like you're pushing me to the edge. Now I got to talk to you and tell you some things about what's going on and you're going to make your point clear. And I feel like once you do some of y'all, you may have a friend that backs away, coworker that backs away. And it could be that they were about to cross boundaries with you. And you had to put them in your in their place. So I don't think y'all are going to, I know you're not going to feel bad about it. I know. I was going to say, I don't think you're going to feel bad, but I know you're not going to feel bad. But I definitely see something that opens up where it's like, I have to, I have to stand my ground. I have to stand my ground. And I do see a new job opportunity coming in for you, Gemini. Love y'all. Cancer. What's going on with my cancers? Let's get these cards going. Let's see what was that that flew out asserting yourself putting your foot down we see lots of travel some of y'all might be trying to make some type of vacation i'm getting some anxiety um, with money but the road opener looks like it's trying to fall on top of your money give me two more cards for cancer some of you might even be looking at a different place to move Watch your spending, Cancer. Watch your money. Some of y'all are working way too hard, but it could be that you're spending way too much. What is the card that flew over? All right, body image. So we definitely have asserting yourself with somebody, and it could be if you have been... Um, feeling like people have been getting over on you. I feel like that you're speaking up for yourself and it may cause some type of money loss because I'm seeing some type of anxiety and depression. Now for some of y'all, this could be money loss because you spoke up. So you may be feeling like I said what I needed to say. And if this is a job situation, they may have cut money for you. They could have cut your hours. They could have, um, taking something away. If this is a family member or your business or something, maybe you put your foot down and it feels like there's some type of money loss. Now we have anxiety and depression because some of you may be worried about it, but I am seeing that the road is open and we are getting some money that is coming in. So if you're worried about your finances, it looks like something is going to open up for you. Could be a new job. Now we have self-imposed bondage here. So I think what spirit is saying, because we got anxiety and depression, there may be something that is going on with you financially, with a job, career, um, where you're worried. And it could be, woe is me, or I'm stuck in this situation, or, you know, it, whatever this is, this is you. This is your energy. This is how you're dealing with it. And it may be, I need to take the blinders off. I need to take the restrictions off and figure out what I need to do. But I feel like this energy is that some of y'all could have went through something really heavy or you may be scared about the finances, um, which is heavy. But it's showing that, you know, this energy is kind of like, you know, when that bank account start to look funny, you know, we start having issues. Anxiety comes in. How am I going to take care of this? Could be a family that you're worried about. How am I going to take care of my kids? I do see um, that there is an opportunity that is about to open up. 
there also could be some changes that you're thinking about making with yourself. Um, this could be, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to get in better shape. Some of you may be moving away from this energy because there's travel there too. So this could be that you're traveling somewhere else. This could be, I need to take a vacation, get my head back in the game and then come back strong. I do feel like there's a little bit of a pull away. And then it's like, you know, let me go ahead and take advantage of these opportunities. For some of you, this, this could be traveling for cosmetic surgery. Like I need this tummy tuck. I need this BBL. But it could be too that you're worried about money. And then we see that money is coming in. So I think we're having two different energies. For some, there may be some type of surgery or some procedure that you're going to get done and you're having to travel out. And then we have, you know, I'm worried about the money. Maybe the money isn't there. Maybe I don't need to be doing this. And then we see something opens up when that money comes in. There could be this fear definitely of money loss. And I see a lot of anxiety on top of it. And for some of you, it may be because you had to assert yourself or put your foot down with something. And you, I feel like you were right in the situation, but maybe um, this caused you to lose something. You may have said something that caused you clients or followers or customers, but the money will come back in because I feel like you were on the right side of it, Cancer. Some of y'all are working really, really hard though. And you may not be looking at all the opportunities, but spirit is like, pay attention, look look don't be feeling like you're stuck because you're not there's money coming in but it may not be coming in from one source there may be a different job or a different move or a different way that you're going but it is going to open up for you cancer i do feel like there may be some travel getting away for a vacation some of you this could even be just going away for a little bit like i, I need to clear my head figure out what i'm doing for some of you you could be in the travel industry and that may be how you make your money and there may be other things that are opening up because for a few of you, though, this may be a relocation or travel, moving somewhere else. So either way it goes, you're going to be okay. You will land on your feet. Money will be coming back in. But open your eyes and look at all the possibilities and everything that is around you. Don't have tunnel vision. Don't just look straight. There are other things that are coming in for you, Cancer. All right? Love you. Leo, what's going on, Leo? Hopefully there's no fuckery, Leo. <laughs> I always have to say that before y'all readings. Because it's like, I don't know. It's like you always in the middle of something, even if you don't want to be there. Let's see. Leo, Leo, Leo. Oh, lion comes out. Leo, Leo, Leo. Leo, spirit. Interesting. All right. Oh, dad. Spirit was like, take those cards. Let's see, two more cards. Two more cards for Leo. All right, one more spirit. One more. All right, let's see. What is that? Okay, let's get into it. So first thing that comes out is the fake friend. Now, some of you, and I want to see what the card came out afterwards. Some of you may be dealing with an energy of um, somebody that may not have your best interests at heart. Now, the stalker card is on top of this, which means that you may have somebody that watches you. And I think the problem is, is that there's a new beginning that is coming in. For some of you, this definitely could be pregnancy, but I feel like that this person is watching you more because there's a new beginning. Um, you're starting something. And this person may be very happy or seems to be like, oh, I'm happy for you, you know, congratulations. But they're watching. And then we see conflict that comes in with that. So they're not watching because they're happy. They're watching because they're about to bring conflict in. And then we have the spiritual cleanse, which means that you may be needing to cleanse yourself of some energies because you could be dealing with more than one person, Leo. Now, you do have a new beginning and we have somebody standing in their power. This could be a new job, new business, or an opportunity that just started for you. 
strength card is on top of this, which means I'm focused on what I'm trying to do. I have a new opportunity and I'm putting all my energy into that. And you're having a confidence. You're standing strong with this. And I feel like some people may be kind of looking at this in a way that is, I don't know, jealous. Even though jealousy is not there, we definitely have fake friendships, which means that some of y'all may have started something new and posted it. And everybody's like, yeah, 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 yeah. But there could be five to 10 people within that post that like, nah, 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 nah. We don't fuck with that. And I see that whatever it is, you're walking away from it. So if you are looking and you know, some of you may even be knowing that, you know, there's some issues like I need to cleanse or the energy feels heavy and it shows that you're walking away from drama. Now, for some of you, this could be ending connections with people. This, if these are people that you work with, it may be like, you know what? I'm not walking down to their cubicle or I'm not, I'm not having lunch with them. Or if this is family, it's like, you know what? I'm blocking you on social media because I don't want you to know what I'm doing. Could be friends too. But it is showing whatever it is. You don't want it. You're focused on this new beginning. So we have somebody that is like, I'm starting something new. I'm walking away from this drama. And I'm standing in my power, the strength card. And it's your card. It's like, I'm not going to be caught up in this fuckery. So if somebody tries to bring something to you, especially if it has to do with a group dynamic or somebody that is being fake, you're walking away from the energy. It's like, I don't need it. I'm focused on whatever this opportunity is, whatever this business is and standing in my power. But some of you, you may need to go ahead and cleanse. If you are starting something new, keep things silent until you have it where you want it to be. Cleanse your space, cleanse your cubicle. You know, if this is a building, cleanse it. Make sure you're taking your baths because I feel like somebody is kind of pouring a lot of negativity towards your direction. And you're like, I don't, I don't need it. I don't need it. There could be new changes with this new beginning that somebody is feeling like, I don't want Leo to have it, but you already have it. It's already yours. Whatever happened has already happened. You're standing in your power. The strength card is on top of you. You're like this, like you're already there, Leo. So if somebody tries to bring some, some nonsense into it, once it starts, I feel like that you're going to do everything you can to protect it because we got that lion The lion is like, I'm not fixing to let you, I'm standing in my power. Look how determined he may even have a couple of scars too. Like I've been here before. Bitches don't try me. I'm standing in my power. And to do that, some of you are walking away from foolishness. Like I don't want it. Pay attention to your intuition. Spirit will um, show you what you need to see, especially when it comes to fake friends. Be prepared. Some of you might be walking away from some people that maybe you used to care about, but spirit is going to show you the true the trueness of the situation not just them but also with you too because it may be some things in you that you need to see this new beginning may be bringing something out but it's showing you that you're standing in your power so this could have been that people told you oh you can't do it and you're like no look i'm doing it or people might have been like yeah i don't think that's going to work for you but you're telling them but it is i'm standing in my power so don't let anybody get into your head because it looks like whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish you're focused on it and you are going to move towards it and you are going to make it happen leo and they should know better right all right leo love you virgo finally the last one virgo let's see what spirit has for you virgo any guidance any messages spirit for virgo Any guidance, any messages? Okay. Oh, that's good. Road opener. All righty. Let's see, spirit. Three more cards. Uh -uh. Hold up, y'all. Let's see what it is. It flew out there. Alrighty. Some of y'all might be working on your health too. Could be working out, trying to get yourself together. Alrighty. Let's see. Do we have enough? All right, spirit. First thing that came out was 
the road opener now it looks like when something ends something else opens up for you and i am seeing some type of conflict that may have caused the separation so some of you may be moving away from some type of conflict um i do feel like spirit is saying watch your mouth though watch your mouth this could be something that you heard or something that was said and then we got somebody that is really trying to use their words to sting like a bee so for some of you if this conflict is there it may be like don't get in don't get in arguments with these people to me it's a waste of energy because we have the road opener and then we have a lot of fuckery here so why are you even focused on this fuckery when your road opener is there we have somebody that needs to see something clearly self-imposed bondage could be i need to move forward don't sabotage which could be i don't need to be arguing with people i don't need to be getting caught up in some type of conflict i need to go ahead and cut ties and move on spirit is showing that you're protected so if you're worried about being caught up in some type of energy don't because it looks like that you're seeing something clearly and you're moving forward i think some of y'all are coming out of a real possibly a negative energy where there may have been some type of conflict and there may have been some words some things that were exchanged and then there's a separation but we have self-imposed bondage and this is somebody that may be still stuck not letting something go and spirit is kind of like cut the ties with this this person can take their blinders off they can cut their strings off and move on so if you were caught up in some type of energy and it kind of derailed you for a little bit where you were stuck in it and you're like i don't even know why i'm still stuck in this energy it's you let it go let it go you might be overthinking it and we know virgos overthink because you know i have virgo in my chart and i know that we overthink so for some of y'all i feel like that there is something where it's like okay i need to let this go because i no longer have to be involved with this i don't even have to speak on this anymore it's done let me get the right card it's done there's a separation there's a divorce seeing things clearly moving forward and being spiritually protected while you're doing this so if you felt like you had some issues with a bunch of spiritual people spirit is protecting you they're telling you you ain't got nothing to worry about keep moving forward um there could be this energy of you know being afraid of this new beginning but spirit is like we got you we got you we're the ones look at it there's two cards that are showing that they're giving you light that they're showing you a way that you need to go so don't get caught up in an energy of staying stagnant in something where you might be dwelling on some negativity maybe there was some type of argument or fallout or whatever and it's like you know i'm still upset about it and spirit is like nah you're not you're not let it go move forward move forward and this could be if you're dealing with somebody that's still holding on to something some of y'all might be like look that happened in 1995 i don't want to talk about it anymore i'm moving on virgos tend to have a uh thing of holding on and i used to be married to one he used to keep he has a notebook of stuff that happened back in 20 uh 2003 and i'm like dude we're in 2023 that's 20 years ago let it go move on whatever it is if it's not serving you at this point you gotta let you gotta let it move you gotta just say look i'm cutting ties with it because something that is anchoring you to the past is not allowing you to do this open road thing where a spirit is bringing in opportunities which means that you're missing a lot of shit because you're looking back here still trying to argue with some folio from 1995 let that let, let them go if they want to stay in 1995 let them stay there but for you virgo you need to be in 2023 taking advantage of these opportunities that are opening up for you don't get stuck you guys there's a lot of things that look like that spirit is trying to show you pay attention pay attention to the things that come your way to things that are offered to you from other people because it looks like it's going to be good let that pass go virgo all right love you guys bye